Tonight, a Loudoun County couple is accusing a Northern Virginia lawmaker of damaging their property over the weekend. The incident involving delegate Dave LaRock was captured on the couple's security cameras. LaRock says he did nothing wrong. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey reports it's the latest incident in years of feuding between the two families on their neighboring properties in Hamilton. Well, it looks like some of them are definitely broken. That's Chris Kerfman talking about the damage she says has been done on her property by her neighbor, Virginia delegate Dave LaRock. Kerfman and her partner and LaRock have been in a long running dispute over the use of this road that runs through an easement area owned by Kerfman's but goes up to LaRock's home. It's one of two roads that lead to his house. These are videos Kerfman captured in recent days. One shows LaRock taking down private property signs from the Kerfman's fence. Then the delegate takes down posts on which security cameras have been mounted. How do you view his behavior? It's, it appears to be criminal behavior. If you read the code, there's nothing that says in an easement you can take and destroy property. But LaRock is defending his actions. He says a neighborhood covenant bars any signs except for real estate signs. Another agreement gives him the right to maintain the easement road. So he says the posts could get in the way. I asked why he didn't seek another remedy, either going to court or making a phone call to the neighbors. Well, the matter is in my hands. In fact, I took a hands-on approach to resolving it. There, there's, when I have an agreement with him that says I can remove something, then, then doing it myself is a perfectly legitimate way of approaching it. And that's, that's the matter as I see it. Two years ago, LaRock faced misdemeanor charges for a trespass on another part of the property and for tearing down a gate that went across this road. He was convicted of one charge in the lower court, but he appealed and the charges were all cleared. After the latest incident, Kerfman and her partner point to this good neighbor settlement reached with LaRock that stipulates he should primarily use the other road to his property. But they say he's encouraging contractors and visitors to use the easement road instead. We just want him to leave our things alone and leave us alone. We want to enjoy our property and we want other people to not be using that property when they're not supposed to be. It's LaRock, a conservative Republican, also accuses Kerfman of trying to antagonize him by posting rainbow flags along the road. Maybe she just wants all our guests to know that they are supporters of LGBT community or maybe she's doing it because she thinks it bothers me. Delegate LaRock says his next move is to file a civil lawsuit to try to enforce his understanding of the road's use. Kerfman's have called the sheriff's office. In Hamilton, Virginia, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. This dispute over that road may also end another way. Delegate LaRock's home is currently up for sale.